week from the Harvest Fest at Southridge Christian Academy and I've got Stuart Watson who's principal at Southridge and I hear that most of this was your design. I mean we are, I guess I should start <laughs> explaining, we are standing in the school gymnasium or what's usually the school gymnasium and it's been turned into what is it, Harvest Ridge? Yes, we call it Harvest Ridge. Harvest Ridge. And this is absolutely fantastic in here. It looks to me like a movie set or oh, something. Oh, well, thank you. We've had people say that it uh, looks pretty interesting. Yeah. So I hear that you designed it. Well, it's kind of a long story, and I'll make it real short. We That's originally okay. had started off by doing everything with cardboard and slats. Okay. Uh, we had to, we would paint stuff on it to make them look like buildings, and and it just it works so well with the, the Western town idea. Because originally we didn't know we would keep that theme. Because I used to, you used to change it. Didn't well, that was our thought. Was we uh -huh. would kind of change it from year to year, but uh -huh. the Western theme works so well that we decided to keep it. The problem is the cardboard didn't keep. Uh, so we would take it apart and put it back together. And it was kind of hard to figure it out, and it was hard to store all the cardboard and stuff to keep it flat from getting ruined. And so we kind of, just over time, we thought, well, you know, we need to develop something a little more permanent, a little more stable. So we uh, and, and did a little thinking on it that we needed something that would be uh, collapsible but yet easy to set up. And so we've kind of come up with what I call a modular design. Everything is basically, give or take, a 4 by 8 panel. When it all folds down, it kind of folds down into a 4 by 8 panel that we can just shove off into the back storage room and have what I call instant festival for the next year. So it's just kind of a kind of a work in progress that we keep adding year after year. So how much was added this year? Because it looks pretty extensive and I know I've been out here in the past but I don't quite remember it being this well, extensive. Well it's actually been a three year phase. Okay. The first year we did the one wall on the east. And and that's the hotel and <coughs> yeah, so, what and, else and is the, there? Uh, I'm not so that the different can... the different food booths that kind of the, we call them the okay. restaurant booths and then the okay. uh, the trading posts is where the kids get their prizes and stuff. Uh -huh. And then last year we did the other side over here, we made a brand new jail, uh, the general store uh, the, where they do the photos and stuff. Uh -huh. This year we did the middle wall, which is for the bakery and some of the games and the auction on the back. So we've kind of pretty much gotten rid of all of our cardboard now, except for maybe just a couple places here and there. Okay. But uh, it's and, worked real well. And one of the most interesting pieces is the, um, the Bushnell Country Store. So tell us about that. Well, that's actually uh, an antique sign that we had. Originally, it was a, we called it the Hillbilly Shack. But then somebody, uh, actually Pastor Hogel, it's his, uh, he, he loves antiques, collects antiques, and he had remembered that he had this sign in the barn. He thought, kind of put two and two together, said that would be a really neat thing to put on top of there. So uh, we got a hold of the lady out at the Bushnell store just to be sure she didn't mind us and calling. It, it was the real sign. Yes, it up was there the, that is the, the real sign. Store. Yes, right. it is. Yeah. So, so we decided to put it up there, kind of an antique look, and just uh, kind of adds to the festival and kind of a, a neat little effect there. Wait, how much? How much wood have you got? I mean, did, did you buy? Was any of this yes, um, not really. We just—it's just kind of been part of the expenses to the uh -huh. festival. I mean, we've had donations, a lot right. of donations and stuff, but we just kind of use that to buy. Uh, all of it's two by four framing, but it's right. just Luan paneling on the outside. And the paint—you've got a lot of paint. Yeah, in there we, too. a lot of painting and varnishing, yeah. just some extra little touches here and there to kind of spruce it up, make it look real. Yeah. But I mean, say at the hotel, I'm just looking at the hotel, you've got a little porch there, you've got scarecrow figures up mm -hmm. on the top. Um, how long did it take you to do this? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> and probably uh, last year, we started the beginning of September. And, and basically, it's just a bunch of volunteers, church, school yeah, parents, yeah, and all that. Yeah, it's just okay. a bunch of all volunteer time. Okay. And, and I've kind of, I would come in on you know evenings and weekends and stuff, and other people would help. And, and we had a whole crew help bring it out this year and help us set it up. And so, yeah, it's just a, a lot of volunteer help. A lot of time goes into it, but it's worth it in the well, end. Well, it looks, it looks great. Now, are, are you going to add anything next year, do you think, or are you pretty well, much finished? <laughs> Ask me now and I'll tell you I'm finished. Maybe maybe in about six months I'll tell you I've got some neat <laughs> ideas. But Because it really, yeah. I mean, you, you've got the, the old water tower way up there in the corner. Yes. You've got all the little We actually details. have running water in the back. They can pan uh, where they actually take a, a bag of sand and put it in a sifter. Okay. And they can run it through the water. And it okay. actually works. Running water back there. And really neat things that uh, that we've done over the years. Of course, we have the traditional bounce house for the little kids, too. We, well, well, we'll go down and walk in okay. a lot of these buildings. Great. Um, my other question is, how long does it take you 
to get all this down? You know, it's amazing. Taking down is we can do it in probably just about two days. I mean, really? as far as in, in fact, we, in, some of it will come down in just a matter of hours. Uh -huh. It takes a lot longer to put it up because they're just positioning and right. getting everything right. But right. but it's all a lot of it was just you know bolted together, uh, some screws and lag bolts and stuff. But it's it's designed to come down fairly quickly. Yeah. It just takes longer to kind of put it away. But we can have this all down and just all pushed off to the side and just probably probably one day it'll be down. But not Sunday. No. The, the uh, no, festival we're, goes October 5th and 6th. Right. Friday and Saturday. Friday and Saturday. Right. But then... Uh, I'm sorry, 4th and 5th. Oh, 6th yeah. is the, the day that you're going to... It's, it's yeah. different every year. I never yeah. remember. But yeah, it's always a Friday and a Saturday. Thursday night's our chicken dinner. Okay. But then, yeah, by Friday, by Saturday night, everybody's pretty well spent. So yeah. then we just take but Sunday off and then Monday we're ready to hit it again. Is there something sad about taking it down? Yes, there is. In fact, it's really sad as we're putting it up, we're thinking, wow, this has all got to come down so yeah. soon. So. Well, thank well, you. We're going to walk around and stop at a few of the booths and talk to some of the people. Do that. Thank you so and, much. And enjoy your time here. We appreciate you okay. coming. Thanks okay. so much. I'm with Angela Watson, and we are in the Western Photos booth here at Southridge Christian Academy's Harvest Fest. What What are you doing in here? What 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 happens inside this? Booth? Well, I take people's pictures around town wherever they would like to be, and then I come back to my booth, and then I'll print the pictures for them and I'll put them in a special 2013 Harvest Festival folder and then I'll give them to them and so I just have a lot of fun so, doing that. So you're not charging for the pictures? No, we do. They're three dollars oh, okay. for the pictures. Okay, so if you want to um, pick up some of these um, well, the great thing is they're, they're brown tone, the sepia tone, yes. so it really looks like... Um, yes, a western. Uh huh. Now, so you walk around and you see something you like and you snap a picture. Do you ask yes. them ahead of time if it's okay? Usually not. If I know the person, <laughs> then usually they don't mind. So. And then do they know to come over and pick it up after yes. a while? If they would like it, I can tell them. And then if they would like to come over, I take it. I also take people's pictures in jail when they get oh. put in jail. I like to take their, their mug shots and then they can come over and buy those too. Well, I think that's going to be our next stop. How come, are you, you like photography then? You I enjoy do. doing it? I do. Okay. And what else? We have other things going on in this booth. Yes. Tell us what's going on this here. This is our live auction. We have baskets here that are for sale. You can buy it now for the buy now price or you can bid on it and tomorrow we will have um, a live auction for it and then whatever the highest bid is that will go. Okay. Now, um, I assume that you've been at the festival for a lot of years. I have. Do you tend to auction them off or do they tend to get sold before the auction? What, what it happens? depends on what type of a basket it is. Uh -huh. Sometimes if it's um, a very popular basket, then somebody will snatch it right off. Even if it's not necessarily as popular, some people like to bid it up higher. Uh -huh. And then we do that that way too. Well, now like this one over here, what... what you know what's all in there? This They're is our teenage up. girl basket. Actually, the, our senior, junior, senior high girls did that for, from the school, did that for the, um, the festival. It has anything a teenage girl would need, from hair accessories to fingernail things to socks, hairbrushes, anything and everything. Okay. And then the one next to it, what's that one? That is a fall table um, arrangement, like just different fall ornaments that you can put around your table or anywhere. Okay. And will all the baskets sell tomorrow? Yes. They will all sell. Well, they look really interesting. Um, and who packages them up and puts the bows on them? Um, that? Whoever, the whoever um, brings them in, usually they do it themselves. Okay. So we have a lot of people who donate baskets. Okay. And then I see there's one down here that's in a little different kind of a basket, this brown one right here. Uh -huh. what, and what's in here? It's a pamper yourself spa basket. Okay. So it comes with different accessories to, you know, for you to have a spa for yourself. Yeah. Okay. Well, this looks like a lot of fun. Yes. It and is. are you selling a lot of pictures? Yes, I am. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, we're talking to the sheriff of Harvest Ridge, and what's your name? Sheriff Harmon. Well, now tell me, were you elected to this position? Yes, I was. My first year. I'm vo vote for re-election for next year too. Well, it looks like you've got some people yes. in jail, so that could yes, be a good thing, or that, that comes could be here a bad usually. Thing. The people that comes here—that's usually what it is. Oh dear. <laughs> and and what? We have a few people. Oh, there's a little. This gentleman right here. here. If yes. you want to come and get a better picture, he was okay. dancing in public. 
Oh dear. And Line how, dancing and pumping. And how about the son? What was he doing? The son? He left dirty socks on the floor. Oh, well that definitely... Uh, Line dancing okay. in public. Okay. And the, the guy right there, his son right there, dirty socks on the floor. And, and how about... This uh, guy here was singing in public. That was really... And if you hear him that sing, was, that's, that a fel really that's a really felony. Well, now, that I'm gonna, then we have another um, uh, person over here. Yes, bank all robber. All by himself. Bank robber. Bank robber. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Now, how are these people going to get out of jail? Um, I don't know. Probably be here for years. Next year, we'll probably let them out. Oh, I see. Okay. But, um, like, uh, I see people walking by and say they want to get them. Do you accept bribes or something? Yes, yes, of course. Anybody who works for the government, we accept bribes. I see, I see. <laughs> and, um, are people allowed to come in and visit? Everybody? Yes, yes. They can come in, yes, ma'am. Um, so, do you have a lot of people who get out that their friends get them out? Or are you You can pay, if, you can pay a few tickets and get them out. Okay. Yes, ma'am. We take bribes. We like bribes. Well, I, I, I see that. So, um, well, I, this is a very nice facility. It's probably Thank nicer. You've uh, been in jail before. You're kind of well, acquainted actually, with it. Actually, I was here earlier today, and they did put me in jail, but they didn't even tell me what I had done wrong. Okay. But I was in there. Dancing but, in public, probably. Well, it wasn't that. Not today, anyway. <laughs> but they did let me out. So, um, but it's very nice okay. to meet you. Okay. It's a pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Try to behave ourselves. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All righty. Thank you, ma'am. Very nice, nice to, to meet you. you. Uh, I think we're standing in front of the fishing hole. One ticket, everybody receives a prize. I believe, um, what, what prizes are you giving away this evening? Well, we're giving prize tickets and we're giving little uh, uh, candy prizes. So it's pretty neat for the kids. So it's pretty popular always. Yes, it is. It's, very, it's a very popular place, okay? Everybody and can fish. They get tickets to redeem over the yeah, prize. Yeah, prize, yes, they is that do. Right? Yes, okay. Yes, yes. Right. So and how much gone fishing is this? Um, it's uh, one ticket per, per person. Okay. okay. But they're allowed to come back as many times as, as they many like. As many times as they like, yes. Okay. They are. So. All right. So, thank you. Okay, thank you. Yep, thank you. <laughs> I know. Thank you. Thank you. We're at the Green Acre Ring Toss, and you are? Christy Armstrong. You want to stand up so we can see a little bit better? And um, what are, how, how does this work? Well, how does this, this game This one play? is hers. Oh, okay. And you are? Ruth Cole. Okay. You want to stand up, Ruth, and sh show us a little bit about how this works? Well, you're trying to get these balls into the hole up there. It's not as easy as it looks, but there's someone who's gotten four of them in, at least. Really? Okay. No one's so Have you done it yet? Uh, not this year. You want to try right now? See sure. how hard it is? Almost. You can do it, Ruth. Oh. Yay. Okay, so what do they win if they get it in there? Uh, they get prize tickets. And uh, they get five for playing either way, even if they get one in. So. Okay. Okay. Um, how many, is it a good percentage of people who get one in? Uh, yeah. There is a very Seven people or three quarters of them or at least over fifty percent. So that keeps them coming back then. Yes, okay. and even little kids like playing it. They're allowed throwing it. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, Christy, you've got ring toss over here. Yes, a lot of the little kids seem to love this one. And um, have you had success with this one? Yes, I have. Okay, how about giving us a little demonstration here? Well, yeah. The older kids have to stand back further. Okay. Oh. Whoever you call. So that's not as easy as it looks either. The little kids get to get closer. <laughs> the older kids, it's more challenging. Have you had anyone um, get all three rings? Yes. Really? Oh, just recently, a little three-year-old got one. Okay, well that looks like fun. And they also win tickets, is yes. that what they win? And then they redeem the tickets at the prize booth, which yes. we will be going they over there in a minute. A great prizes over there. And have you, are you going to be here the entire two days of the festival? Yes, I am. I am here every year. Yeah. Now you just graduated last spring, didn't you? No, uh, 2011. Okay. 2011, I can't believe it's been that long. But you're back. Yes. Yeah. I'm proud to be with, with my school. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Ready? Are you giving up? 
No. Nope. What's your name? Carter Andes. This is harder than it looks. It looks like it would be very easy. Um, is this the first time you've tried it this evening? Yes, it is this evening. Okay. Have you gotten it other years? Yeah. So you know you can do it? Yep. Okay. How old are you? I'm 11. Okay. All right, well, we've been watching you on camera. Good job. Now, do you have to, you have a certain amount of time, or could you stand here all night if you want? You have one minute to, to do it. Oh. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Yep. You're welcome. Okay. The one time you don't have an eye means when I get tonight so and what's your name Tracy Tracy what's your last name Randolph and how old are you nine so you have never done this until today no this is my second time today so. good it's second time today you you look like whatever the secret is that you you've caught on good job so, yeah. very good job is this your favorite game here no I kind of I like the mine the best oh, that's fun that's a lot of fun yeah. we haven't been there yet well thank you congratulations Hi, what's your name? Robert. Robert what? Hegstrom. And how old are you? Nine. And um, this is just somebody that was walking along here at the uh, Harvest Harvest Fest. What has been your favorite thing all night? Um, the hayride. The hayride. We haven't gotten on that yet, but we will. And we are standing in front of a game called Hit the Crow, and it looks like people take uh, corn cobs and hit the crows. And I heard you say that you had done really well on this game. How did you do? Did you get all the crows? Or uh -huh. I got all the crows. What did you win? Um, tickets. Tickets. And what, what did you win? You haven't redeemed your tickets yet, right? No. I don't see you carrying any prizes. So. Okay. Well, thank you so much for having fun. Do you come to this every year? Mm -hmm. I hear you live right down the street. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, thank you. Have fun. Okay. In front of the uh, H Ridge Gem Company, and the children are panning for uh, gold and other gems. So let's come up a little closer. Now the water tower that we pointed out earlier uh, this evening is, is up above us and it's piping real water down here so we've got running water so the kids can pan for gold. So it looks like the kids pick up a bag of sand and gems and take the bag to the water trough and put it in the pan and swish it around in the water so that they can get their gems. 
swishing in the water. There you go. Oh my. Look what we have there. What have you found? Does everybody find a gem? They're finding all kinds of gems. Rocks and gems. So nobody goes away disappointed. That's huh? right. This looks like a popular game here it is. It's popular, yes. And you are? I'm Brenda Robbins. in Harvest Ridge. This is the Harvest Ridge Mine. And um, it's pretty dark in there. Do you want to go in? Few times. I will show you, you can see what we've done here is we've set it up like an old silver mine and so we have silver hidden here it's kind of up to the aluminum foil and they have a special prize inside we also have critters hidden here so they can find a critter they get to keep the critter they get special prize tickets for it and also hidden somewhere is the elusive bat it's a very oh. Very hard to find critter, but if they find that critter, they get a very special prize. And they've and found it a couple times today. Oh, well, now take us if you want to walk along here right. with us, and we can see. So, we just kind of um, we have the rocks on both sides here. We got some old lanterns just to kind of make it look like the yeah. Old and then they'll just kind of walk right down here. They like this end the best because they like seeing the glow in the dark and the oh, yeah. webs all glowing up. Yeah. And then at the other end, we just have an old mine cart that sometimes have, has critters hiding in it too. So it's just a lot of fun. Now, is there a limit as to how much they can pick up and take we, out? They, they're supposed to take one piece of silver or one critter, and they okay. get the equal amount. But we don't, you know, if they have, they're having fun, they get more than one. We don't care. Yeah. <laughs> now, are these are these real rocks down here? No, no. The, the, some of these are real, but the silver that they're actually picking up is just the little aluminum right, right. foil. You look right. like it's silver. But, but this took quite a uh, it's like a the whole lot. Time, it took a lot. It took a lot. Of engineering. This is this has been a couple year process to get uh -huh. it like this. We we started out with just cardboard, <laughs> kind of lean and do, yeah. and then we've made it into this. Yeah, but you've got complex. The little, little lights here. We got the lights. We got the spider web to make it look old. And yeah, it's a lot of fun in here. Like this then, seems to be one of the kids' favorites. Oh yeah. Now at the other end, you do have the old mine car. Where did we that do come have from? the old mine car? Actually, somebody built that for us. We have one of our carpenters who was just. He said, "I want to come. I want to build something." We said, "Well, can you build us a mine car?" Uh huh. And he we said, "Definitely." Steam come out. We could make the steam come out. Yes, we do. We have we have a, a steam uh, a smoke maker that once in a while will fill with oh, a little smoke. Can you see that, that big? Part? I can. Let me call them. All right, let's walk on down here. They come all over. And and what's your name? Bella. Bella. What's your last name? Leonard. And how old are you? Eight. Eight. And is this one of your favorite games at the festival, the silver mine? Yep. Did you find silver? Yeah. Good. Okay. Oh, here comes the smoke. That just kind of coming in for a little bit, and that just kind of wafts right through. Yeah. And then what what have you got in? Cart here. We have some foam, foam rocks that look kind of real, so they can dig around in there and they can look and see if they can find the critters or if they can find gold um, yeah. or anything like that. And then you've got this little. Rail. We do. We have all the little rails, just just the little effects to make it look like it's an old. Here comes a lot of kids looking. We have a lot of kids who want to. The bat seems to be the favorite. <laughs> Um, now that we're out in the light, maybe we can see Crystal Watson a little easier. She was the one who was leading us through the silver mine and telling us how, how it operated. Thank you so much. Not a problem.
Thanks for coming. I love your outfit. Oh, thank you. The kids seem to like it a lot, so that's why we keep doing it. And we're looking at the trading post where children who win prizes, prize tickets, may redeem their tickets for prizes. I understand all the prizes were donated. You see there's a wide array there. Children get to pick out what they would like. And next to the trading post is El Restaurante where they are selling chicken chipotle wraps, tacos, chili, belly busters, and more chili. So nobody goes away hungry from Harvest Ridge. And Trails End Eatery has pepperoni balls, pulled pork sandwiches, ham and bean soup. And then we have the butcher shop down here. Sausage sandwiches, hot dogs, pretzel with cheese. Well, this looks very interesting. Dr. Hogel can come up and tell us about buying a jail pass. Now, I talked to the sheriff, and he said nothing about a jail pass. Is this well, like a Monopoly game or something? He wouldn't tell you about the jail passes. but if, Well, because if you have a jail pass, you can show it, and that way you don't have to go to jail. Oh, and, I see. And so a lot of people will come and buy a jail pass, and then when uh, he will come up to them, he, they just show that, and they get out of it. Like maybe a little slippery town here at Harvest. Well, Park. we wonder about that, but it works. The city takes bribes, and now there's a jail pass. But, but it works. But it works. Okay. Yeah. And um, are you uh, the constable or something? What's your role here in this town? I, I'm. I'm so nicely dressed. I'm a nice nobody. Guy. Oh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> you know. Um, how many years has this been going on? This is our 11th year. 11th year. Yes. Does uh huh. It get bigger and better every year. Every year is better, and Stewart has done a magnificent job of designing all the buildings and building them. At the outset, he told us a lot about it. Mm -hmm. I just think the attention to detail is, is amazing. Oh yes, and he's a man of perfection. Yeah. And so that makes a difference, you know, when you do that, you know. Yeah. No. And um, this is free. Um, absolutely, and absolutely. You get here, you're expected to spend money, but anybody can come in and look around. That's right, and you can yeah. even buy a jail pass. And buy a jail pass. How much is the jail pass, by Only the way? Only $5. Wow. And so, well, now, could you, can you get two days trail passes? Is there a bargain? Oh, there? no, no. You have to buy in on Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I needed one earlier because they did put me in jail. But they didn't handcuff me, so I was glad. Oh, well, then they, we should have gotten a picture of you being handcuffed. Well, <laughs> well, thank you, and I hope you keep order around well, here. Well, God I'm bless you. God bless you. Not, but, uh, well, it has helped some has for the helped. finances, you know. See, my question is, why isn't this by the door when you come in? I mean, I didn't see this till we went all the way around. Because people have to discover it. Oh, I see. After they're, after they're. And we, uh, yeah. yeah, they like to get them in jail first, and then they're going to come and buy a jail pass. The sheriff seemed to be enjoying getting people in jail. Too much. Yeah. Too much. <laughs> he said he was elected. He said mm -hmm. he'd be up for re-election next year, so we'll. Move. So that will tell the story. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thank and, you very uh, much. And this is our That's silent fun. auction. Uh-huh. And uh, these have been all donated, things that's been donated. And uh, we have them on the auction here where people can come and bid. And then on Saturday at 2 o'clock, we have the uh, final bidding on it. So. And the uh, silent auction is always on Saturday afternoon? Well, it's going on right now. Let me show you. Oh, it is? Well, I mean the, um, the drawings. And find their number here and then sign up on a sheet of paper like this and for whatever they're signing up for. And so all these were donated because I see all the zoo tickets. Yes, uh huh. They've been donated. Ballet tickets. Uh huh. Waldemere yeah. Park. Mm -hmm. Greg Orchestra, Sweet. Akron Symphony. Greg Sweet has an oil change up yes, there. Uh -huh. You've got a 
yeah. quite an array of uh, Yeah, all of items. these have been donated. And everything will sell. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. At the final... Uh, it's a, on Saturday when we have the auction yeah. and all the things up here have been donated a lot of things have already gone mm -hmm. but we call these our specialty items mm -hmm. and these specialty items have been given but like the picture up here my granddaughter did that Angela and, uh, Angela. and that is a pictures over uh -huh. at the western right and beautiful. that is a crocus up there yeah. and she got that early spring and she put it on a rail and took a picture of it. Didn't that turn out nicely? Beautiful. And different ones donated different things. Mm -hmm. This is a picture that she entered into competition and got first place on. And what competition was that? The, uh, going up to Cleveland for the Ohio Christian Schools. Wonderful. And a lot of pretty flowers here too. Yes, we've had them. Very, nice. Very nice. Yeah. yeah, and then more stuff down here. Here's the Cleveland Browns donated, you know, right here in the center. So. Nice donations. And it's a community project, really. A lot of the community comes out. You can see that walking around here. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of the community people here. Mm -hmm. And uh, we really appreciate it. It's been a tremendous community outreach to reach it's people. It's a lot of fun. Oh, yes. A lot of fun. A lot of work, but a lot of fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the people enjoy it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> We're in front of the SS Cafe. And we have a few camera shy workers back there who really didn't want to be on camera. So we're going to stay back just a little bit and watch them as they effectively dodge the camera. Uh, anyway, they're, they're being good sports about all of it and um, having a lot of fun. They've been here all day. Most of the workers here have been, were going to spend two full days here, which is a big commitment. <laughs> now they agreed to wave. Amy Clark, the school secretary. Oh, but right now, this but is... Right now, I'm Brutus. And and where did you get this wonderful little... It thing? came from the wonderful land of Kmart. Oh, and yes. I I was here earlier. I think you've had him on all day. I have. And tomorrow, too? Um, possibly he'll make a debut tomorrow, but I also have a horse who just can't wait to get out of the stable. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Well, now, what can you tell us? You've got beautiful moms. Yes, got we've got... Pumpkins, gourds, pears. You've got all kinds of. Oh like, yes. I, I, you walk in here and it smells like better than the grocery store. Oh, I'm yeah. so glad. Yeah. Yes. Now was all this donated? Um, a lot of it was donated. Yes. A lot of it was donated. Apples and. Yep. Apples of... and pumpkins and all kinds of winter squash and you name it. Will a lot of it be gone by the end of the festival? Yes, we're hoping that all of it will be gone. So come on down and buy some. <laughs> All right, now, um, whose hay wagon? Is this your hay wagon? No, this the wagon and the tractor belong to uh, Ray and Ron Hogel of Jayco Farms. Okay, and they I see they use. put the, the, the cover on it to make it look like a stagecoach. Yes, it's kind of a stagecoach and also to keep uh, rain out. Sometimes we've got rained out, so okay. it keeps it a little drier for us. And I, I hear this is a rather unusual ride. Yes, what, it what is. Happens? What happens? Well, we have a notorious gang of outlaws that will stop us at times. Yeah, and where, where, do, where do you meet them? Are they running around in the they're, woods they're, somewhere? Yes, they're on our route. Oh, they they right. stop us. The sheriff and, needs to get on the stick here. Yes, he does. Yeah. Yes, he does. Yeah. And uh, yes, they stop and they make all kinds of very strange demands. Uh oh. And we have our narrator, who I'm waiting for right now, who tells everybody what's going on. Well, I hope everybody gets back safe and sound. So do I. We try our best, and we do our best, have, and we have, have a great they ever time. Threatened you, and they told you you had to go to Albion, Pennsylvania, or something? No. Last time they kidnapped me and took my tractor. I had to oh. chase them down and get it back. Oh my goodness! It sounds like some wild things are yes, going on out here. Yes. Yeah. Everybody has a ball and everybody has good clean fun and that's what counts. Okay. So All right. Okay, so as we get Mr. Freilich, we'll be And how long is the ride? It runs between twenty minutes and a half hour. Somebody said it went about five miles, is that right? Um 
probably, approximately, yes. Yeah. Yep. Right. With nice, nice back roads and nice. Now, when it gets dark, do you still? Win that? Yes, we have flashers and stuff on the tractor, and oh, actually, I think our that would be more fun when it gets dark. Oh, it is. Our yeah. our nighttime ones are very full. We have to usually run two back to back okay. to uh, to cover the crowd. Right. So. So you really don't know where that gang is right now? No, nope, I'm not exactly sure, but they're notorious. They okay. pop up different places. That's, that's kind of scary. <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, thank you. I hope oh. you have a safe ride. Well, it must be a little nerve-wracking for you. You uh, don't know what's going to happen. It, it's never a dull moment. Never right. a dull moment. Right. Well, but it's fun you. and it's great time. Thank and you. I just got to find my narrator and we'll okay. be ready to go. All thank right. You. Thank you. We are approaching the paintball area which is right along Route 7 right just south of the um, ODOT salt facility. I think it's too late for anybody to be doing paintball this evening but I know they will be doing it all day on Saturday October 5th. Let's see if we can talk to somebody about about what's happening here. And your name is? My name is Jeremiah Keeler. Okay, tell me about this, because I don't know anything about paintball. Well, this is a speedball course. We have about 60, 70 air bunkers we're setting up today, give or take a few. And uh, each side has to mirror the other side so it can be played competitively. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll start three to seven players on each side. We have some uh, smaller guns that uh, little kids can use, you know, from about five years age, about five on up. Mm -hmm. Still fun for adults, but this way you don't have like the bruising you have with some of the uh, older paintball yeah. that I play, yeah. you know, so uh, yeah. um, you have all the bunkers have different names like you have in the middle. It's called an A. This one here is called an H. These are called Doritos because they're shaped like mm -hmm. a Dorito that you would eat. Mm -hmm. And then these red ones are called cans. Uh, and there's some like called pillars and towers, so they all have different names. And that's mainly so when players are playing, they can yell out like, "He's at the can, he's at the Dorito, he's at the H or the A." Uh, so when they start the game, you'll have uh, your t one team down here, one team at the other end, and we'll hold up our hand. We'll say three, two, one, ten seconds, and then we'll wait to make sure no one jumps and yell, "Go, go, 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 go!" And then, the teams will run, you know, to their sides. Usually, most matches last anywhere from, you know, one minute to two or three minutes. Um, matches time out at about five minutes, so it's very fast-paced. It's very quick. Um, it's kind of like, uh, you know, kill or be killed. Not, not to sound mean or ruthless or anything like that, but you've got to get the other person before they get to you. You know what I mean? So. Now. Are, are they going to have people sign up, the teams sign up and assign the times, or just whoever is here when each round begins they get to play? Well, we'll, let, we'll, like let, yeah, we'll let them and the, the Harvest Festival decide how to, to oh. sell tickets, but we'll divide the teams up once they get out here. Uh -huh. We'll divide the teams up uh, evenly so there's an even number of players, and then we'll give them armbands to mark who's on what team. So it doesn't really, if, if five people want to play together and there's two people want to play together and three people want to play together, It'll match up at ten apiece. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. uh, all, all of this is, is yours. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Me and my brother run the paintball company together. We we actually have a field in uh, Glasgow, Virginia, and one out in Kingsville, Ohio. Uh, and I just recently moved up here, so I brought all these air bunkers were with me in Virginia. I just brought them back up here, and uh, I had some guys run the one in Virginia remotely for me. Okay. And where are you located in, in Kingsville? Uh, we're located on Rigger Road, um, and it's actually uh, 4201 Rigger Road, Conant, Ohio, 44030. Okay. So that's where our, that's where our regular fields out. We play every Saturday. So now, if you know anyone wants to come out, we'd love to have them. Tell the camera. Anybody who wants to come <laughs> out, is there a phone number they should call if they want to get? Uh, well, I don't know my brother's phone number. It's on our website, which is BigPearlPaintball.com. But my phone number is 434-258-1200. Okay. But. This is just going to be going on on Saturday of the festival because it's we were, already Friday night. Yeah, we were trying to get it set up today. Um, yeah. You know, unfortunately, in, uh, in this situation, you know, we're we're kind of just volunteering and we're donating all the material. Uh, you know, we're paying people to set it up. You know what I mean? So, uh, me and my brother just had to do it when we had time. We both work, you know, full time right. jobs right. and all the other stuff. Right. Uh, so we wanted to get it set up today in time. In order to get it set up correctly, we're just taking today and just doing. Setting it up. 
just doing setup, right. getting it set up correctly, and then that way tomorrow we can hit the ground running and it'll be all ready to go. So it'll be so. going on all day tomorrow, starting from Correct. 11 in the morning mm -hmm. until until dark. Yeah, yeah. It takes it takes man hours if someone knows what they're doing and uh, and has done it before. It takes about four to six man hours to do to, for one person to set up by themselves. If you have some helpers that can kind of stake things down, because each bunker takes uh, four to six stakes. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, the ground's really soft right now. Uh -huh. um, unfortunately, a, a lot of our helpers, while they're very really ambitious, they don't, they've never set up an air bunker course. So we had to, to oh. stake things down, unstake them, move them around, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, to make sure it's set up uh, yeah. is close to correct, you yeah. know what I mean? We're not going for you know a, a perfect setup, but we want it to be, you know, if someone comes out here, we want them to feel like they played on a legit speedball mm -hmm. course and it was done correctly. So when mm -hmm. they see it on TV or, uh, you know, on the internet or what have you, that they feel like that's the kind of course they're on. And, and this is what we're setting up is a professional level setup. You know what I mean? Like you, could, if you were playing professional speedball, you would play on a course. And like this, this is what you have over in Kingsville. Well, we don't have a uh, we don't set the the air bunker course up right now. Mm -hmm. What we have is a scenario course. We have all these bunkers and towers and and forts, and we have this old. Uh, uh, vehicle from like the Vietnam era, you know what I mean? So we do a, what we do there is all scenario and kind of, you know, uh, 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 military simulation. So we, we, we've done stuff before for the Navy SEALs and Army Rangers and okay. Police Force Academies. And uh, I used to, I coached actually collegiately for uh, the Virginia Military Institute, which is where Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson are from. I did that when I was in Virginia before I moved up here. So I actually set up their programs, and then I worked with Hargrave Military Academy. They they have they still have a, a paintball team that we run there, paintball for. Very so, impressive. Yeah, yeah. Well, so. I know we're losing our daylight, but I'm so glad that we caught up. <laughs> yeah, before yeah. We well, it'll running. be rocking and rolling it'll tomorrow. Really, so really uh, a lot of fun tomorrow. Hopefully, we will get a lot of people. Yeah. We already had a lot of people asking us about it, but. We'd rather, we'd rather than set something on a pathway, we'd rather be set up yeah. correctly to start with. Yeah. And, and Well, thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, awesome. Thank you.